Welcome to this next video in the series designed to help you make an informed decision as to whether long-term care insurance is right for you. I'm Betty Dahl, owner of Dahl & Associates, and I've been doing long-term care planning for over 18 years. In the previous video, we talked about the frequently asked question, does long-term care insurance duplicate any coverage that I have? But another frequently asked question is, well, can't I just use my own money to pay for care? And the answer to that question is absolutely yes, you can. It's your money. You can do anything you want with it. But what is it that you want to do with it? Is it to make sure that your spouse is okay after your death? Is it to leave money to the kids, pay for the grandkids' college, maybe leave to charity, your church, your synagogue, your alma mater? Or do you want to use that money to pay for care? It's your choice. The question is, how much money and where is it? Where are your assets? If you need care, are those assets liquid or might you need to downsize or sell off some assets in a down market? Would there be a tax hit? Would you have to pay any capital gains taxes? Would there be other penalties, possibly for early withdrawals? How would using your invested assets then impact your income stream? And who relies on that income stream? This is especially important to consider if you still have a spouse or partner in the home. Because generally speaking, our assets in retirement are what generate much of our income. And if we're assuming an optimistic 5% overall return, if we have a million dollars in the bank, that's $50,000 in income. If we take the money out of that million dollars to pay for care to the tune of $90,000 a year in many parts of the country, now we're generating less income each subsequent year and it becomes very much a downward spiral as we deplete the assets, we are minimizing the income. And who relies on that income? But there are ways to leverage your assets for care, to still use your own assets, but to leverage them to have additional funds available if care is needed. One is by combining a life insurance policy with a long-term care policy. If you never need care, there's a death benefit paid at your death. But if you do need care, you have the death benefit plus a multiplier of that death benefit, perhaps two or three times worth the death benefit available to pay for long-term care. What's really cool about this is that there's even one insurance company that allows you to use qualified funds to put money into this life insurance policy. So if you have an IRA sitting there that you don't know what to do with, you really don't want to take it out, but you need to take some out, this may be a way to also cover the situation where you may need long-term care. You also could um, get this type of policy using the exchange of an existing life insurance policy or using cash, emergency funds, money market funds that you may have available for this. Lots of different ways to do it and provide you great leverage if you were to need care. Another option is an annuity linked to long-term care. You can fund this by repositioning an existing annuity. You can use money market funds, money sitting in your emergency account. But what's nice about using the money in an existing annuity is that you can take that money out tax-free if used for care. You potentially are avoiding all taxation on the growth in that annuity if you use the money for care. This also is a way for some people who may not qualify for another type of coverage. Often an annuity may be right for them as their health requirements are less stringent. And then there's a good old standalone long-term care insurance where you pay that ongoing premium to have protection for care if it's ever needed. And like every other insurance policy you have, it is absolutely, quote unquote, the worst money you ever spent until there is a claim, at which point you get a tremendous return on your money. Just like with your homeowner's insurance, your auto owners, every other insurance. So when you need it, it provides a tremendous payout and tremendous value. Everyone's needs are different. There's not a one size fits all. It depends on your goals, your family circumstances, who or what you're protecting, your finances, and not everyone needs full coverage for care. Many people that I work with view long-term care insurance as catastrophic coverage. They see that they're able to pay a portion of care themselves, but really don't want to be in a position of having to pay out a great deal or for an extended period of time.
So we're here to, here to help. We work with people like you every day. You can reach us at 877-462-4582, on the web at ltconly.com, or email us at info at ltconly.com. We can help you sort through the options, and if insurance of any type is right for you, we'll work with you to design a plan that fits your unique situation. And as always, we promise to make that discussion of long-term care planning easy, enlightening, and hopefully even enjoyable.